Ladies and gents, welcome back to the studio. I'm Michael, and in today's video, I want to update you on what is happening with Bitcoin regulations and a whole bunch of news with Cardano because we have a lot to talk about. So if you enjoy that sort of content, I'd appreciate it if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right in, starting off with the overall market. Right now with Bitcoin and the entire market, we're seeing that it's sitting at a $1.12 trillion market cap. The key thing right now when we're looking at Bitcoin in terms of price analysis we've seen that bitcoin has retraced about five to six percent from highs we had seen just the other day down from twenty five thousand dollars per coin to around twenty three thousand four hundred in addition to this we've seen the same thing happen with ethereum and many altcoins but one important thing is happening with bitcoin whale addresses right now when we look at bitcoin whale addresses we can see that the total number of bitcoin whales holding more than 100 bitcoin but less than ten thousand, has reached a two-month high and if we look at the chart in analysis from sentiment, we could see that right now we're starting to rally back higher in terms of the total number of wallet addresses who hold more than 100 Bitcoin. And this is actually a very good sign. Right now, there are over 15,000 800 addresses that hold over 100 Bitcoin. And this is a sign that many of the big whales, big accounts are doubling back down on their positions, finally starting to get back in. And as we're seeing this number increase, this accumulation phase just helps to build on top of everything going on in the news with Ethereum merger, with altcoins, with regulations. And this is something that is going to continue to help prop the market up and propel it into the next bull market. Other thing happening with regulations is we have one thing with good news, one with bad. So good news is that Tether has just partnered with a top five accounting firm, BDO, for reserve att attestations. And this is important because basically... There's been a lot of issue with stable coins over the last few months. We've seen a lot of them depeg from the dollar that they were supposed to be pegged to. We've seen complete collapses. And now people are worried about stable coins, which rightfully so. We've seen a lot of issues. So the top three have been USDT, USDC, and BUSD. But one of the problems is, is that people don't always trust how much money these stable coins have in their reserves. Are they actually backed one to one? Are they backed even remotely to that? How are they actually storing funds? And the key thing now is that with this partnership with BDO, Tether wants to make it more transparent um, with their actual reserves, how much money they keep on hand. And they are doing this because up until this point, there has been no stable coin that has been successful in engaging with a big four accounting firm. So now with USDT partnering with BDO, they are finally going to have some more credibility to their stable coin versus others because this could reveal exactly what is going on with their funds, how much reserves they keep on hand. They're going to also do a complete audit as well, which is a great sign in the right direction for stablecoin regulation. And other thing going on with regulation is in South Korea. So South Korea is going to be blocking KuCoin, Polynex, and potentially 14 other cryptocurrency exchanges because they are allegedly operating in the country without registration. And this isn't really great news because we have seen that cryptocurrency is an out right banned in South Korea, but now the government is starting to crack down a little bit more and be more restrictive about which exchanges can actually operate in the country and which can't. So moving forward, the list which they released in their pre press release is KuCoin, MEXC, Femex, XT.com, um, Pionex, and a number of other cryptocurrency exchanges. It doesn't mean that these can never operate in South Korea, but it does mean that these platforms are going to have to jump through a few more hoops, um, work with regulators a bit more closely in order to actually operate there. And there still are changes that are licensed and are able to operate there. But for now, there's going to be a bit of a crackdown in South Korea on which exchanges can operate. Now let's get into what's been going on with Cardano because we have a lot of exciting news to go over, mostly good news for Cardano. The first is going to be that Cardano-based stablecoin, Dejed, has partnered with Ring Wing Riders, which is a Cardano-based DEX. And we spoke about this on Twitter the other day, you can see right here. But the important thing here is that Dejed has partnered with over 35 different companies prior to even launching. And I, I know what you're thinking because Dejed 
Fed is a Cardano-based stablecoin. Stablecoins have been doing terrible as of recently. There's a lot of controversy around them, especially algorithmic stablecoins. But the key thing with the Jed that makes it a little bit different is, first of all, it has over 35 partnerships with companies before ever launching. It is very established in the industry and it's trying to become a standard, especially for Cardano. But the other thing, which is much more important than the partnerships that they have had, even this new partnership, is that Cody states that the fact that the jet has a 400 to 800% over collateralization and is backed by ADA makes them confident that it will become the ultimate stablecoin for the Cardano network. Many of the issues around stablecoins comes down to liquidity, and that is why a lot of them can be depegged from the dollar so easily. That's why we've seen so many issues in the past. But according to Cody and seeing what their network has to say about the jet, it looks like the jet could be protected from this. Obviously, there's no guarantee. We've seen you can't make any guarantees with stablecoins, but it looks like this partnership um, with Jed and Wing Rider is just another step in the right direction before Jed launches. Moving on, let's talk a little bit about another big announcement from Cardano's IOHK because IOHK just recently partnered with NMKR to drive NFT adoption on the Cardano blockchain. And the important thing here is that NMKR claims to be the number one NFT minting and payment infrastructure on Cardano. And according to a recent press release and according to Charles Hoskinson, they came out, he came out and says that they're, they're excited to be working with NMKR as they develop an entire minting and payment infrastructure ecosystem, making NFTs accessible to everyone. So whether you believe in NFTs or not, the bottom line is, is Companies are starting to use them. They're getting more widespread adoption. And whether they end up just being pictures and art in the future, or what I think, which is going to be more utility-based, whether you're talking about books or tickets or um, real estate, whatever you end up thinking NFTs are going, they're going to be around. And seeing that this partnership with NMKR is going to be a really big deal for the future of NFTs building and growing on the Cardano ecosystem. And last thing I want to talk about with Cardano, which is also great news, is going to be with Cardano investment products in Germany. So new announcement, a new partnership came out that allows Cardano investment products to be accessible to major clients um, in Germany, two major banks, which are Comdirect and on Vista. So these two huge banks, for example, um, Comdirect is Germany's third largest bank and boasts close to 3 million customers. On Vista is an online broker and a subsidiary of Comdirect Bank AG. So these are very big institutions and now through a partnership with Valor, um, an agreement with Valor, uh, all their clients are going to be able to easily invest in Cardano ETPs, which are exchange traded products. It just makes it an easy way for people to get exposure to Cardano. It's not just Cardano um, that all these German banks are going to have easy access to, but this is one of the main highlights. So ultimately, there's a lot going on with crypto right now. We've seen that Bitcoin whales are starting to accumulate more than they have been over the last few months. They're starting to pick up there. We're seeing that regulations, some of them are moving in the right direction in terms of stablecoin adoption and regulations there, making them more secure, which is very, very important. And Cardano has had a lot of big announcements as of recently that could help propel it higher leading up until the Vasil hard fork. So ultimately, there's a lot going on, but let me know what you think is most important right now, what you're most excited about in the crypto space or any altcoin in particular. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.